Oh, you're really shiny. I'm so shiny. Move me over a little bit here. The light's grabbing me. Hello, I'm a crazy little alien guy. I'm setting up. What do you think these are? You want to guess? How do you do this? What can you do? What can you do? And I want to say, while I'm setting up here, I happened to be at Walmart today, and the Christmas music was a playing, playing, playing around. And I'm like, okay, as a, you know, I'm doing this because it's the time to go and purchase Christmas crafting stuff and get your craft done and get it ready and get your paper and get your utensils and get your glue and all your stuff. And normally, I was the first person on the block who um, began her Christmas thing um, right after Halloween because I threw an enormous Christmassy thing. And it took that long. It took me, you know, I, I had a tree in every room. And each tree had a theme, and it, I was crazy with Christmas. Christmas crazy. However, um, nor I, you know, <laughs> November first gets you started, but there's Thanksgiving, and then after Thanksgiving, that usually kicked off the ho 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 holiday season. It used to. Now we're really pushing it, um, and I had been not totally in agreement with that, but there's there's a difference doing these things getting this all set up putting the ideas in your head trying to motivate you to say you know what we could do some handmade things for the holidays because that is part of it not just having ho 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 jump down your chimney or however he gets there and it's not just about the presence it's about camaraderie and family and friends and enjoying the Putting it all together and then sitting back and going, wow, we really had a good time. It, it, it unifies. Whether you, whatever your belief system is, it doesn't matter. The holidays are just wonderful to have a good time. Um, being creative and creating um, a fantasy world and the reality that we live in. And memories and creating them that will last for years on end. No matter how bad things get, you can look back and go, well, we had a couple really slam dunk, bang up, wonderful holidays. That's the important part. Out of the 12 months out of a year, we take a little bit of time to say, let's make it pretty. Let's make it wonderful. Let's make it joyous. And that's the point of all of this. All right, I'm actually on time. It's nine o'clock central time. And this is my goal to be doing this where, you know, hopefully you're, you've watched your movie of the night and this and that. And um, you may actually, if I do this often enough, show up and join me live. If nothing else, I believe in the reruns. I watch everybody's reruns. I, I While I'm doing stuff, I'm always listening to something on YouTube or on Twitch or, or Facebook. Um, it keeps... I, I like to listen while I'm while I'm coloring and working and creating and marketing and all of this stuff. All right, what are we looking at? We're looking at, I have to say, if you like mint, I was standing there going, hmm, now I do like Christmas candy. Not much for Halloween candy anymore, but this is mint truffle, dark chocolate filled with mint truffle. It's darn good in your mouth, but I picked it up because I thought, you know what, dropping one of those in my hot coffee would be just absolutely, utterly delicious. And it, it really is good. If you're a minty person, I was looking at the peppermint. The peppermint, a little bit different than mint. Now, a little peppermint, one of these and a peppermint in your mouth would be like heaven going on on your tongue. <laughs> if you're a mint person, if you don't like mint, just grumble and move on. And make sure you give me a thumbs down because I really love that one it has, I'm thinking it's one person who just has it in for me and, and you'll, and please go look at my other videos because it's like, how can you have a thumbs down on this one? What's with it? You know, some people just have to be ugly. This one's almost sort of kind of open. So, so it doesn't go bad. I need to pop that in my mouth. I do. Just imagine you're having a little piece of, and I'm not, I don't care if it's dark chocolate, chocolate is chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate, 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 chocolate. 
All right. Mm -hmm. As you get older, you really like the chocolate. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, don't talk with your mouth full of a kiss. I like giving out kisses, too. I think that's cute. We live in a world where we can't just hand strangers candy anymore. Sadly. Mm -hmm. It's so sad. All right. One more time. Somebody, a couple people, really, if this kicks off and I keep going with it, the more people that view, the more people that say, I like stickers, the more things you look at and you type in the comments, I like stickers, I love stickers, I want to win. I'm going to rant, um, enter you in a drawing. I have these beautiful little Christmas cards ready to go, filled with all kinds of neat, fun things. And you'll never know for sure what you're getting, but they're really adorable. There's stickers, there's cards, there's surprise, surprise, surprises. And the more I can do of this, the better the chance of it. And then even I found this when I was going through what I have and trying to organize these are from long, long ago. So I've been putting one of these glitzy, I didn't do these stickers on there. Now, this is how I normally buy stickers. They're very reasonable. You can get them. Yes, you can. You can get little stickers and big stickers. I was at the Dollar Tree. Yes, you can. But what the difference is, is that I have over 150 some books I've created. And these are individually signed. And um, the, the stickers vary. But I just love the aliens. I really like aliens because at this time, they're neither, they're, they don't belong on Earth. And you, you know what? Aliens are nice. Nobody so far has started picking on the aliens. So I'm pretty feeling safe and happy with the ho, ho, ho aliens. And these guys are trying their best to fit in on Earth. We, we all try. Some of us succeed and some of us just fail miserably at it. So that's a part of what we're playing for. Um, subscribing, liking, and then a comment. A comment because that way your name appears and I get to see in my information thing that so-and-so commented today, another person, and then I can keep track. So, and I am the kind of person because I was a former teacher that if you really work your little butt off, I guarantee you, you're going to get an envelope with something in it, but you got to work your butt off. That's, that's how Deb does it. Okay. Um. I once gave a student an A in English class and I pulled him to the side and I said, sweetheart, you really can't spell. You are horrible at writing, but I have never seen anyone not give up like you. You, you always try. You try every Friday. You take that spelling test. You fail, but you fail with, with some sense of pride and dignity and you keep coming back. You don't quit. I am giving you an A in this class. Not because you're good at English, no, but you are going to, if you, if you keep doing this in your life, you're going to, it's going to pay off for you. And sure enough, many years later, I was at another Walmart store way far away from where that school was. And this young man stopped me. He goes, do you know who I am? And I said, no, I'm sorry. I have no idea who you are. And then he told me his name and I said, oh, oh, how are you? I remember you. And he said, I want to tell you something. You gave me that A. I am now the head computer programmer for the Walmart Corporation in this state. And I, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm got goosebumps right now. Because sometimes teachers make a big impression. Sometimes they fail miserably. And once in a blue moon, you do something so amazingly good. So that's pretty cool. All right. I am going to, I'm winging this too. I mean, this is, these are projects from years ago. I am pretty sure on the pay hip link where you click on the link that I provided here, you, it, it should go, it should go right to this little mini card book, whatever you get a lot, I think, and don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure it's a $5 deal and you print it off on your paper with your ink and, but you can print off as many copies as you'd like. And that's the really cool part. So when I first, this, this came after I did the cards and the this and the that, and I started doing these little sample sheets so that you could check off um, as you print, what have I printed? Because I noticed I was getting, I was forgetting and I needed a check off sheet. So the, the files come with a little mini thing to print out first. 
And then that way you can sit there and say, okay, I got file number, blah, 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 blah. And then, and that makes it easier. <clears throat> From there, I looked at these because this is a sample size. This is what we were working with. And this will be the mini size for the cards that are bigger <laughs> so that you know what you're clicking on, you know what you're printing. And this is the, the download master sheet. And then, um, you're downloading the master of the larger minis. The big card package, you get the full size, goes into a beautiful envelope card. That's the difference. These are the minis. All right. The cards go in an envelope of this size, available on Amazon. And I just went with the Amazon deal. I'm happy with the envelope. It's an envelope, for heaven's sakes. Um, and that was 100 envelopes, somewhere in the $10 ballpark which or eight it was eight dollars and some cents because when it was delivered to me two days later i said to the driver how are they making any money bringing me one box of a hundred envelopes i just it blows my mind i don't get it at all um however this is what the minis are so we're looking at what you get in the mini card package deal it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten no, this is page two. I don't know. I don't know, but it's a good deal. And I'm not printing them off again because I'm trying to get rid of the paper that I have because that's one of the consequences to what I do. I end up with a lot of things I've run off. I'm passing a lot of that on in um, special $50 package deals of, wow, yeah, signed by me, done by me, and, and some things for you to do. Um, just, just stuff there. So that's just giving you a little look. Oh, here it is. The, the size of the envelope for the cards, the regular size cards, would be, um, they're called A9 envelopes, five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. Um, and jam, it gives you a really nice, thick envelope for the price. But I went with, um, I went with a little cheaper because I'm going to be sending out a lot i have a feeling um and i'm i'm selling them and if you don't want to win it it's a five dollar deal you can look at my other video that hardly anybody's seen but i show you what's in some of those envelopes and what's available right now to order by contacting me and all you have to do in a comment is say deb get a hold of me um and i'll get back to you and when i find out you're you know legitimately going for it I will then um, make sure you can find me. But I am on Facebook. I'm all over the place. Deborah L. McDonald, just outside New Orleans. You'll find me. You'll see. You can also hashtag Deborah L. McDonald or D. McDonald Designs, and that can bring you to an awful lot of how you can find me. All right. So there we go. You know what? I have a Deborah L. McDonald Googled me. I've Googled my other screen names from many years ago, but not that one. All right, so that's a little look at the minis. So you get your you get your mini page. I highly recommend that you color it first if you intend to color this. And this is pen, colored ink pens, um, fine tip markers. And when I'm talking fine tip. I'm talking like the really little because this is small stuff. You have to like small. I have things that you don't, you know, not incredibly small, but this is small, little itty bitty coloring. Slow down. Take your time. Again, why I'm doing this at the in the beginning of November, because this does take time to do. And it's also good to do with children of all ages. Even if it's not the best in the world, they can get better every year. And they do enjoy, you know, even if they're just going to put some glue on here and sprinkle some glitter over it and make their very own little miniature Christmas card book. And that's where it began, making these little mini books. Now, on this side is the fronts of these. And this would be the front of the snowmen that say Warm Winter Wishes. Then the inserts are over here, and that's what an insert is. You insert it into the card. Um, 
I highly recommend that you print the inserts on thin, cheap paper. You can also print on colored paper too, which is real pretty. <laughs> then you do a nice fold and there's some trimming involved with this. And you place it in there, you can either glue it, which is really I highly recommend, a little bit of Elmer's. Let's just do that. All right, you take your little Elmer's glue. Also, you get what you pay for in glue. I bought the cheaper glue. It doesn't hold at all, not at all. So I'm gonna put, and this is why you color things first because the glue is gonna make it difficult to color. But let's just say I wanna send this one uncolored because the recipient might wanna color that little moon. I'm going to squeeze so the glue adheres. I'm going to pretend you don't know anything about any of this. Fold it. Then, once you get it in there, and you have it in there nice and tight, the deal is you go through the back, you get your scissors out. Good scissors are wonderful to have. I only use these for crafting. My other scissors are in the kitchen. I have scissors outside, but these are sharp and they're great. So then you're going to trim. Now, I put a nice big thick black around here so you can decide how much you want to trim off. And it gives you a lot of leeway for getting everything lined up nicely. Scissors to the side. <sighs> oh, I should glance this over too. I'm trying my best to get my viewers back. I don't know where y'all went. I'm going to have to ask people, what are they doing at night? And I am, unfortunately, I'm so nocturnal that day hours are bad for me. I just I would think about it, but it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So there you have it. Cute. That's the book part. There's even a little miniature D. McDonald designs. So it, it looks so official. He's off and not centered, but you know what? Totally not perfect. Nobody's perfect. Not everything turns out perfect. It's okay. You, you made it by hand. And if you put one of these even inside of a regular Christmas card, the recipient's going to be more thrilled with this. Then you can also, all right, now I'm going to stand up because it's above my head. Mr. Hole Puncher. Um, children love hole punching things. You can just give them a piece of paper and a hole puncher. And once they're old enough to do this, and it's a good thing for your hand to do. Also good for older people to do because it works those muscles. And to try it left-handed, try it right-handed. So that when you finish, if you really want it to be cute and put it on a tree, you put a little hole in it, put a little hole in it. Takes a little muscle because I'm going through these. This is cardstock on cardstock. Do as I say, not as I do. And then you have a place for I like pipe cleaners because they're easy to twist. They're easy to, to put in. They're easy to decide how how big. And kids love twisting these around a pencil or anything. They that they enjoy that. I my grandkids think that that's pipe cleaners are the fun fun thing in life. Bring us some pipe cleaners. This is from one of the ornament pages. It's also available on PayHip. Regular big size ornaments. But I'm just showing you that. Pay That's cute. Gold, silver. There's so many different colored pipe cleaners. So that works out really well. Or ribbon. And then they can hang it on a tree. We can sign that. And keep it. And then that way it does stay for a long, long time. So that you have your collectible Christmas things. You have your disposables and you have your, I'm going to save that because my great aunt sent that to me. And I think it's so adorable. Also a very cute, interesting gift tag. that isn't just going to get pulled off a present and tossed out. Hopefully somebody will go, wait, 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 I want that. These are really adorable. They're just too cute. All right, so back with the glue again. Little glue here. Doesn't take much. Doesn't have to, you know, stay on forever. And you can always re glue it if it falls off. But once you put the ribbon on it, smush it down. Make sure you don't have glue on your hands because that's where it gets really messy. 
And then you check the fold. Well, this one's perfect. I must have already pre-trimmed that. And I really like the idea of hole punching it. I, I, I could see giving these to people just even at my grocery store. Because I live in a small town and we kind of know each other, but we don't. And um, they, they smile. Even if I've never even seen them at the grocery store before, but all of my cashiers, because it's not a Walmart, it's a, a small, you know, locally owned store. And that's so much fun because you can get an awful lot of these on a piece of paper. I'm pretty darn sure it's a $5 printing thing and you print it off. Um, it's not going to cost you a fortune and you'll be able to make a whole bunch of these and make people smile for the holidays. How sweet. Now, I accidentally... When looking at these, said, huh, you know what? Besides making these cute little mini cards and like this one says, have a colorful Christmas. Well, I designed this one so that you fold it and you go with your insert pages. Let's look at those. You take one insert page and another insert page. It doesn't have a logo. It's not a front color cover. Then you glue that together, colored or uncolored, because you could send these off uncolored for the recipient to do. And what's going to happen is I'm going to glue this so that I can really show you, you the viewers, how this works. Up with the twisty and glue. And then over here, the next page, and glue. All right, and fold. A lot of folding and a lot of gluing. Then I'm going to get my scissors out, and I'm going to trim right over my display here. Like that. That's pretty good. Okay, so now, did the glue dry? Oh, yeah, instantly. No. Okay, so I have. One page, two pages, three pages, four pages. And I stick that right in here. No, I don't. I have one more step. Well, this is where I stapled, and I didn't really like that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. If you put the insert page in here, so you'd have to actually put like Elmer's, the, a liquid glue in there to get this part if you wanted. So I would print this out on cardstock. Which I have some of them are on cardstock. Some aren't. Because I'm okay if I glue it to here. And if I want to put even more pages in, then I have the, how do I do that? I really wanted it. There's a stapler that'll do it, but I, I can't. I just not. I can't justify the cost. I just can't, but there's a much bigger... Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Yeah, that's a different story if you're using full-size cards. But what if, what if, what if? <laughs> Will it work? We don't know. Da -da 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 Doing it with Deb. You never know what Deb's going to try to do. But if I can get the staple on the crack of on the spine of this and staple one like a book like a staple book staple oh there this is endless now see i never tried it on the smalls okay so now there it is just like a book book which would mean i can do many many pages oh how adorable i'm gonna glue that down look at that you just keep trying just keep thinking from one thing comes another. And then glue that down. I do have a real paper cutter as well. So if I didn't want to scissor cut this, to, I could go and put it in my paper cutter. But I'm just going to scissor cut to trim it. Which again, that's why there's this nice thick black around here. So that you can play around with, okay, now I'm, I'm happy. It's almost as perfect as I'm willing to go with this. Trim this all down a little more here, looking at my left side while I trim this side. 
and then over here before I make the scissors cut. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna cut off a little more of that black like this. If I stay on here all night, do you think? I mean, I used to have people watch me sleep, literally, long, long ago. No, they're just they're just boycotting me. I'm the most boycotted person on the internet. I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened. Now I have all the shrapnel. All right, so well, we learned in that we can uh, we can put the staples in there. How cute is that? Have a colorful Christmas. Now you can color it or give it to people to color with a little pack of pens. There's an angel. Merry Christmas with a candy cane. Um, and you can continue to put this together now that we know that a stapler will fit. Your common, ordinary desk stapler. Yay. Uh, birdhouse with ornaments. May your days... Be merry and bright, it says. A birdhouse alone. And then a Merry Christmas wreath with ornaments in the back of the book. And you could just keep putting those back and forth, back and forth. Um, as long as it'll fold, bend, and you go with thin paper inside. You really want to do the thin paper inside. You could have quite the interesting, cute book. So adorable. All right, we learned something. Stapler works. Now, what you can also do is these little itty-bitty minis, like this size, right here. It says, wishing you a sweet Christmas. You can take that on all the different pages that I give out to um, keep track of what you've printed, the little mini pages, after you're done printing out, you might want to actually make two copies of this because you get the little itty bitties, the little teeny tiny things here. And those make adorable, like all the little miniature Christmas trees. These are a really nice size for doing little handmade ornaments to put on a tree. I would highly recommend not putting a hole punch in there. I would say, and this is why I kept it like this. I will eventually cut that off, but I would glue a little bit of ribbon in here. Little glue of ribbon, little piece of pipe cleaner, something very tiny so that I can make little miniature ornaments to hang on the little small trees, which I, actually have a small tree that I was just cleaning today and I will um, I will show that at one point in time bring the tree over here so that you have a visual of um, what I'm talking about but you all know there's these little bitty trees out there all over the place you get your big trees you get your little trees and these would make wonderfully cute ornaments so you have your, you can make a card, a little miniature card. You can make a gift tag out of these. You can make a book out of them. He says, yeah. He's not a sticker. I thought he was a sticker. I started pulling his back off. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. You know what? We could, we could repair him. Yeah. Let's fix him. All right. So we're also we're going to do a little surgery fix in here. We're going to. Just put a little glue down there. Pinch them shut. There. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, and that that's just some of the things. Please, if you find other things to do with this, um, like Barbie dolls. <laughs> um, oh, people who make um, miniature doll houses and things. These would be so cute as the pictures to hang on the wall. Too cute. All right, so let's take a look at, here are some of the um, insert pages. Have a magical Christmas. I might want to move all this out of the way for this part. Have a magical Christmas, a little elf coming down from there. Warm winter wishes with these snowman in a cup. 
Um, Merry Christmas cookies in a wreath with cookies going out. This is real tiny. This is much bigger on this full size cards. So it is challenging. Hope that elf stays on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. This one is actually a front. It was in the wrong pile. And I realized that when I was putting the book together, this is the back. It has a little, little D. McDonald Designs thingy on there. And you can see where the white is. So just snip, snip, snip and trim. And it will look so nice. It will just look so good. So don't be afraid to use your scissors. Paper cutters if you're really good with the paper cutter. And you can trim all that off so that it's white all the way around. So let's do that. Let me show you the difference between leaving the black on and taking the black off. Do the whole thing. Do it all. Do it all. All right. There we go. Over here. And nice and neat. Really nice and neat. So it, it, you know, how you how you prefer it. The black around or not the black around. That's your choice there. And then we have uh, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and have an amazing New Year. Covers. There are more. I just have this pile. Have a colorful Christmas. Definitely an insert page here. A cover page, wishing you a sweet Christmas. That's an insert. I'm mixing these all up. This I know is an insert because it has two full-size pages, um, images on there. She's also in all of the decorations. So is this. Cards, ornaments, bigger, bigger, bigger. This one's just my favorite. I just think it's so happy and pretty. A little coffee cup with ornaments. Merry Christmas with the candy cane colored cover. You can see that my ink is not so good. So I cut that off. But it's my cut line. Okay. Merry Christmas with the Moon Santa. Florida Lee. Ornaments in a wreath that says Merry Christmas. I did with a very sparkly glitter pen. Oh, no. Merry Christmas. This is the one that goes with um, Hope That Elf Stays on the Shelf. There, there are actually some rhyme and reason to this, but it doesn't really matter. There's some that the snowman goes to, with the warm winter wishes. But, you know, you make the choice. Here it is. Here it is. Hope That Elf Stays on a Shelf. So here is the insert page that I designed to go with. Oh, no, that naughty elf is in the tree. And then the little sense of humor goes, oh, no. Hope that elf stays on the shelf. And there he is in our Christmas tree. Oh, don't run away. There are some elf books that I wrote that are funny. And when I was searching everything, I found another book that I didn't write. I didn't put into print yet. So it's on my, if I live long enough. I have the illustrations ready to go. I have this, the wording. It's cute. And it just didn't get done. Okay, so um, a front. Here's the warm winter wishes front. That goes really nicely with whatever it is I have. There's the inserts. You'll figure it out. You really will figure this out. Merry Christmas, the Teapot Santa. May your angel watch over you always. Insert. Book page. The gnome, the Santa, plenty, 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 plenty. You get plenty, plenty, plenty to print out. Have a fun little, you know, back in my day, back when I didn't get so doggone old, and I, my family is all over the country now. But we would have definitely sat down. I would have done these with my students. Please, if you can, and you can invest the $5, the $10, and you could print this stuff out. I totally give you permission to go to a school and say, hey, let's let's do some of this because children do so much better in life 
if they have some crafts and hobbies and this does not cost very much you can get reasonably priced um, Crayola markers and things like that and put it together your parent teacher associations uh, your churches and get people together and say let's make these and maybe donate them to a nursing home or just hand them out to strangers on the street to say let's be a little kinder and nicer to one another all right now we're going to get to this book just a quick look this book is beautiful this is my hardcover i this comes with a white lettering i use sakura glaze and decided what color i wanted my lettering in and i did it let it dry it worked that is sakura s-a-k-u-r-a -A, available on amazon they are very pricey ink pens but they are designed to use on glass they're dimensional you can actually feel it it's a very special pen but this is a very special book because this is something you would take out year after year it is huge and have family and friends color in it or you color in it the the back side of the pages is perfect for using even a white crayon and writing what did you color it with who colored it when you definitely want the name of the person the year that they did it and it's just a very fun book of ornaments of a, a, a splattering and smattering of ornaments from new to old a long long ago and i will be doing some coloring along the way here's the book this i mean i'm coloring in this copy arrived first and i had to have i just had to start and so this is what it looks like before i put the color to it um some things will work and some things won't paint marker will work let it dry be very very careful you smear it you got a mess uh so this is some of what i'm working on i'd like to find the black one there's one in here this is these are just my i started them long i'm gonna work on it Let's see how he's a little ornament he gets bigger and they're very large and easy to do very easy to work on this collection from across time and space and everywhere else and you get the duplicate so you can share it with someone else or if you're not too thrilled with it you get another chance at it where there's one in particular that i just think is so stunning i used black he's cute i kept him simple these are really long videos. You managed to get through the whole thing. I like this. This is using the Sakura Glaze Red. Oh, is it beautiful? It is a beautiful pack. That, it's a, they're gorgeous pens. You don't want to like um, put them away forever because they clog up. Use them. Use them, use them, use them. Because if they, you think, oh, I'm going to save for a special occasion, chances are it isn't going to work. And that happens with almost all ink pens. We, we, those who do this, are finding out that good luck, good luck. It's not something you stash away. You can stash away your, your expensive pencils and things like that. Your crayons will be okay for like ever, but not the inky pens. You just want to go ahead and use those. You don't save them for a rainy day. You'll be looking at a pen where you can't figure out how to get the ink out of it. So people, I've tried using a, a lighter and, you know, because I've, I've, I've seen everybody with their 2.5 cents and, well, try this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Possibly putting them in a warm oven might work. I haven't gone so far as to try heating it up that way. This is the one I was looking for. <clears throat> I used a black ink pen i believe one of my favorite black ink pens which is available at the lovely dollar general store if you're lucky and you can still find these they're beautiful ink it's a nice heavy duty black ink love this my favorite out of I've, I've owned a lot of black pens but i really love that pen and then i used a glitter pen glitter glitter over the black and it's just really pretty 
Uh, and I'm not really good at grayscale, but I, I colored the background. That's not the same page, Debbie. There it is. This is the original page. That's what you start with, which is another reason I love the duplicates. Because you just leave it alone and then go, okay, ready? Oh, wow. And as you can tell, I am nowhere near finished with this, which is another reason you start early or you just enjoy, you know, putting on the Christmas carols after Thanksgiving and, and commence getting into that Christmas mood. Look at it shine. It's so pretty. All right. So available on Amazon. There's a look through. There's a video. There's a link. There, it's a gorgeous book. I do prefer the hardcover. If you're the kind of person who tears their books apart, then you'd want to get the soft cover. Now, I'm going to move on to what I'm going to be showing you. I'll be showing you next. My daughter did this box. My oldest daughter. And I'm almost finished. And inside this box, from the ornaments that you can get on my pay hip, I'm going to quickly do a look at, like, you could decorate an entire tree and you could even make a handmade ornament tree that everybody can do an ornament for. This is my granddaughter's name, Lyriel 2018. Look at how old that is already. I colored that for her and put her little name on it. And they're still like, they're not ready to have a lot of things and pack it away. They're very, they're, you know, they're the, the whatever they call those people, candy cane ornament. A Florida Lee ornament. Wait, let's do this. Okay, here's the here's my Lyriel stocking. These are all available on pay hip. Um, these would be this would be the ornament pack. And I'm gonna be coming back and doing a look at this very carefully, but I just want to whet your appetite for coming back and the how-to step by step and what these all are but this is just this I backed on a piece of using a cereal box you put the, the box comes outside of the box inside of the box is a beautiful uncolored cardboard so you can recycle that cardboard instead of tossing it into the garbage two-sided it's also good for reinforcing if you want to Make it a little thicker. Look at that candy cane. All right. So eventually I will be back here with the ornaments. And the things you can do with the ornaments. Because you can also make a really adorable wreath out of them. Here's Holly. Like I said, you can also print things out on paper that already has. Uh, a design on it. Cute and cool. That's my little business card there. I made this is my other granddaughter. A little tiny. A little tiny stocking. So I will be back in a day or two or whenever with um, the ornaments and taking a look at all of these ornaments and what you can do and how you can get those. Look at him. I call him Buddy Bear. He's a buddy bear. Buddy bear and Sweet Tweet. They have their own book. They're adorable. Sweet Tweet is cute. I don't think I have a Sweet Tweet here. I don't know. I don't know, but we'll be looking through those in the near future. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for caring. Thank you for clicking. Make sure you jump around. Watch my videos if you would like to be a winner, 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 winner. Um, the, the more you view, the more you click, the more you comment on each and every one of those, the better your chance of getting entered into the drawing for a cool, a lots of cool, cute gift giveaways of the stickers and more. And that's how you go about doing that. Watch the videos, like them, and comment. I love stickers. I like stickers. I'd like to win anything, Deb. Yeah, we all would. So let's end with making a mess over here. I have to pick all this up. Uh-huh. And please share. And if you can, please make a purchase. 
I appreciate it greatly. He says goodbye too. Goodbye, goodbye, and stream now. <laughs> yes. <laughs>